Hello everybody. I am here with a tip, trick, tutorial, whatever you want to call it, about um, incorporating mid-journey and um, GPT um, and get them to work together and help you save some time and make more creative stuff and better stuff. Um, to start off with, um, if you're unfamiliar with GPT and uh, or Midjourney, um, I suggest looking uh, for like a different tutorial for getting started and everything because this will assume that you are somewhat familiar with uh, those platforms. Um, and this also with Midjourney only really works on version five. Uh, you can work work at it. Um, I mean, you can use it if you want, but um, it responds best for version 5 because of the natural language processing. Um, and without further ado, um, what I wanted to do is I wanted to create these lengthy text descriptions of um, images, but I, I don't really like typing that much. Um, so <clears throat> in order to pursue that, I sort of created a program that um, can run on GPT. And this works for GPT-4 and it works for ChatGPT. Um, but uh, so anyways, um, so what I wanna do here is create or have GPT create these big long uh, prompts for me without me having to say much to it. Like in this one, it said Obama on a, hol on a helicopter and then it creates all of this text. Um, so, this is really easy, and I'm going to include the, uh, the little prompt or the instructions um, in the description of the video. Uh, but, what I did is I just created just a text file. Um, I tell it that this is, you know, I'm going to feed it a bunch of instructions, and then um, at the end, you know, I want to, you to use those instructions to create your responses. Basically, um, it's unfamiliar with Midjourney, uh, so I tell it what it is, um, and then right here, I tell it to be creative uh, with the parameters. I'd like you to create prompts that are visually engaging to humans as well as being unique, um, write precise yet verbose uh, prompts for version 5, be descriptive, be detailed, especially about volumetric lighting materials, technique of motion, composition, blah, blah, blah. Um, this one is sort of set up for photography, like uh, photorealism. Um, and I'm going to be working on another one that's more for artistic, like paintings and stuff. Um, but um, this one also I will probably edit. So subscribe and um, stay tuned and for updates on that. Uh, but yes, this one is, you know, it has like... Zeiss lenses are specified because those are some of the best lenses um, and it should, you know, give us stuff for that. Um, words, give it examples of type of um, words and uh, type uh, styles that they can use. Um, and basically, this is basically telling it all of the stuff that uh, Midjourney responds to. And uh, through in here, uh, start each prompt with imagine prompt so you don't have to type that in. And then uh, no text because I just don't like text being in there. Midjourney does not handle it well. And uh, then I added in here, um, you can not add this stuff if you don't want to, but if you wanted to do something for um, stock photography or stock, um, stock photography, stock AI art, then... Um, It'll give you a title, keywords, and a description. And then I told it to say, got it when it's done. So basically, all you got to do is copy this and go over to GPT. And if you do this, um, I've noticed sometimes it gets stuck and it wants to just create, keep creating prompts. Uh, I found that just asking if it's ready for new instructions to be like, you know, uh, it'll respond to that, and if it doesn't, um, if you want to switch to something else, just start a new chat. Uh, I've tried to fight it before, and it didn't win. So, all right, so we're just going to paste in there, and it'll tell me got it. So, 
Um, we can just say um, unique um, donut. I don't know why. Let's just see what it says. And that's all you have to do. And it'll start typing out a prompt uh, for you. And let's see what it says. Whimsical and unique donut. Unlike any other, floating in a surreal, dreamlike landscape, the donut is adorned with enchanting galaxy glaze, swirling with vibrant shades of colors, dusted with edible glitter, blah, 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 celestial treat. It goes, you know, this sounds like a beautiful, tasty, um, you know, it talks about the glowing, the background, and all that stuff. So, there we go. All right, so we've got our little prompt. So we'll copy this, and go it over to Midjourney, and my puppies, let me see, jump to present. All right, and just Control V, paste it in, and there we go. Let's see. Yeah, so it throws in some stuff. It's, all right, it says rendered in a digital art style. So this one's not actually um, a photograph. Um, and you can also say when you're going to GPT, you could say photo of donut. Actually, I'm just gonna do something different. Umbrella. And it should give me a, um, you know, monochromatic cityscape and a whole bunch of different stuff. So let's see what Mid Journey came up with. Um, and it's done. All right. So those are pretty, pretty sharp. That one didn't include the uh, background. This one sort of has more of the moon glow sort of look. But either way, I don't know what's going on with this donut. It got smooshed. So there's our donuts. But um, yeah, so I didn't have to type all of this out. Let's see what it came up with for the umbrella. Um, this is pretty, sounds pretty dramatic for just photo of umbrella. Okay. A captivating photograph of a vibrant red umbrella standing out against a dramatic monochromatic cityscape. The image captures a fleeting moment during a rainy day as the raindrops create a soothing pattern on the ground and building surfaces. The umbrella's owner, a silhouette of a person wearing a trench coat, walks through the slick cobblestone street, leaving behind a trail of shadow puddles that reflect the scene's contrasting elements. Wow. All right, volumetric lighting from the nearby street lamp adds depth and atmosphere to the scene, creating an interplay of light and shadow. And it says the Zeiss T prime lens, resulting in crisp image and a shallow depth of field, emphasizing the umbrella and its bearer. Long shot. See, I like this. It'll sometimes throw in there like composition. Um, oh. And actually, I'll add something to it, um, maybe to... Actually, you can put in your own um, aspect ratio. That's why I left it off, because I just wanted it to be square. But you can, if you know, use dash dash AR, and then do your um, um, aspect ratio. That's whatever you wanted. So, um, this one has a person and a very large umbrella. Um, this one seems like the umbrella is just on a post. This one, once again, on a post. That's interesting. I wonder if people do that. And this one's just sort of floating. All right. Well, either way, you get the idea. Um, if you want longer, more descriptive um, descriptive prompts, then you maybe try throwing this in there. And, like I said, a lot of times I'll be like, no, I don't want... You know, first off, it didn't give me a street lamp, but no, I want it to be dark or I want it to be nighttime. So then once you paste it in, you just change it. All right, well, that's it. Make sure to subscribe. I'll be coming back with more um, information on uh, tips and tricks that I learn um, going through and doing this every day. All right, thank you so much. See you next time. Bye.